Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Um, today's project we are going to do a two part video. We're going to make a acrylic pen, uh, a fountain pen, with a blank that a viewer has sent to me. Uh, this is a beautiful deep dark red with white swirls um, acrylic blank that a guy called Alex Werner has sent to me from San Antonio in Texas. He has a website or an affiliate link on Amazon and I'm going to leave a link in the description down below um, for Alex's site. Check him out, he's got some lovely stuff on there. Um, the other part of the project today is we're going to make a nice um, pen box to go with it. I do have a video already on making a pen box, this one's going to be slightly different. I've got two pieces of mahogany here, one is about 22 inches long, the other one's about 8. This smaller version part is going to become the actual box itself. We're going to cut two holes in either end and we're going to route out the middle. Um, and then with this part we're going to rip down on the table saw, we're going to cut it down to about one eighth strip and that's going to form the lid and the base as well and then we'll glue it all together, it's going to be a sliding dovetail um, box. Finish off with a bit of Danish oil and some, uh, some spray lacquer and it should be done. Okay, so you saw that I stopped the blade uh, before I finished the cut all the way through. The only reason I did that is because I don't like being too close to the blade, even with a push stick. It's outside my comfort zone. I've got more than enough wood to do the base and the top, so I don't need to go all the way through. So I'm just going to turn that down now, and that'll be exactly what I need. Okay, so it's finally time to um, glue the base on to the to the main body of the box. Um, it's worth noting it's worth sanding the base now. It makes it easier once it's inside there. It's going to be quite hard to get that nice and smooth. So do it all nice and smooth now, and then it's done. And we want to make sure as well that we don't get too much glue on here because we don't want too any you know too much squeeze out on the inside of the box there if we can help it. Um, on a other note as well, um, at the beginning of the video I said I was going to make a sliding dovetail box lid. Um, what I didn't take into account, which is a bit silly, um, is the thickness of the pen lid um, is about the same size as the depth of the piece of wood. So there's no room for a sliding dovetail to go in because that distance there now is is uh, is wider than the pen. Um, you live and learn. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the base on like this, and then we're going to put the lot the lid on like this, and we're going to hinge it in this end here, and we're just going to turn it like that. And in this corner here, we're going to put a little magnet, another one on the inside of this really thin one, and that should turn like that. It should be quite nice. 
you should still be able to get the pen out. Um, so at the moment it's not quite a fail. We'll see how it finishes up. Anyway, Perfect. Then to stop those from coming out, I'm just going to put a little tiny dab of CA glue inside here. Make sure that the polarities are right. I can't find me punch, so I'm just going to use one of these drill bit holders. And that's it. And that turns. Perfect. I may actually have put that in a little bit too far. That, that magnet is now a bit redundant. But, it's quite nice there. The pen will fit in there, lovely.
Okay, so the, the blanks have now been filled and I'm just going to buff up these bushings here with some 240ml, uh, 240 grit I should say, um, sandpaper. And that's just to give the glue somewhere to adhere to on a nice smooth insert of the glass, of the, of the, uh, the blank. Okay, so I've got the uh, the blanks glued in and set up on the lathe now, and I've got the bushings installed. Now the bushings for this kit, they're two different sizes uh, because of the two different size um, inserts, of course. So it's important that when you buy your kit, make sure to get the right bushings to go with the kit that you've got. For this build, I've got a brand new set of bushings installed, and I've also got a brand new tip on my. Um, on the, the chisel there because this is the only blank and I really don't want this to blow so let's crack on with the turning now Okay, so we've got that shaped up now and it's turned out quite nice. Um, I've got that flat, there's a little bit of a dip in the middle there for the fingers, which is nice. Uh, I'm quite pleased with that, that's turned out quite well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sand that down, and we'll get this polished up. Uh, got my dust mask ready to go as well because it does smell rather badly when you're doing this. So first of all I'm going to hit it with the dry sandpaper. Uh, I'm going to hit it with 400, then 600, then 800, sorry, 400, 800, then 1000. And then we're going to move on to the micro mesh to give it that polished finish. And then we'll go through the assembly process.
So if you guys can pick up on that one, well, that has polished up an absolute treat. That's beautiful, really nice. Okay, let's move on to assembly. Okay, so when you open up your kit, these are going to be the components that you've got within. I'll just run through them really, really quickly. Some of them are self-explanatory. This is the cap and the clip. Obviously, they go together. You put them over there. This is the end cap and the end cap coupler. And then for assembly purposes, it's best to take off the silver cap. Just put that to one side. You've got your ink cartridge. A normal standard ink cartridge will also work in this. We'll put that up there. And then this is the nib with the nib coupler those rings as well okay put that there and then again for assembly it's best to take off the actual cut the nib itself and put that to one side so we don't press and break the nib okay so easy enough there's four parts that we need to press in so we're going to start off with the cap and the end cap coupler. My pen press, it's a one metre um, clamp which is clamped to my tabletop and I've got a couple of pieces of wood um, just CA glued here onto the, these jaws just to give it a bit of protection from the, for the metal. Um, a viewer actually sent me an idea of this on my last video that I turned a purple acrylic pen a link to that video it's just popped up on your screen there uh, so thanks very much for the tip on that one it works an absolute treat I used to use a hammer um, so this is this is a lot more accurate and a lot better so what you do is you just push the the end cap and the clip together hold that up there we're just going to turn that I'm just going to press that in. And here you've got to be so careful. Not enough pressure, it comes loose. Too much pressure, the blank snaps, and you end up with a break. And then everything you've just done was in vain. So gently and slowly. Next, get the, the coupler. And that goes in there and repeat there we go. and that's the lid done so the next piece to come on is our the nib section so get it as in as you can and as square as you can. That's it. 
Well, let's put the rest of it together now. Right, so we got our fountain pen section. We'll put the ink cartridge in. Then we can screw that into one end. Flip it around, you can put your end cap on. Grab our lid. Beautiful. That's a beautiful looking pen. Okay guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the pen has turned out really nice. I'm really pleased with that one. The colours are beautiful. That's going to make somebody a nice present. Uh, and to go with the gift box as well that we made for it. That's a nice little touch. Uh, a big thanks to Alex Werner for sending me the blank for getting in touch. I really hope that you enjoyed watching your blanks being turned. Um, as for the rest of you, thanks very much for watching. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Press enter to the right, next job over to the okay the next job is to move over now to the oh my god okay and the next job is to move